AB Hi-Fi has managed a gain of almost 6% and Primary Investments is up by around about 3%. But David Jones has really missed out on this rally. Its stock is actually down by 1.5% during the month. And I guess if we have a look at David Jones, it's seen in the market as having more structural challenges than the likes of some of its peers like Meyer. A little bit of a harder time. And so if we have a look at the share price, it's really been lagging. We have a look at David Jones's share price. This is the 30-day chart. Um, I don't think it's actually come online yet, but we are expecting to see a little bit of a drop-off on the back of these numbers, given that we did see a 1% rise in Myers numbers. Three, another stock, uh, Julia and Tandem, Rural Co and Elders. Your outlook for Elders. Well, Elders is a stock that yesterday reached an all-time record low. If we have a look at the 30-day chart for Elders, this is what it looks like. And it doesn't look too impressive at all. But if I change that view to a one-year chart, we're going to see the same type of pattern there. And we've seen a pretty sharp drop-off. And I guess the question is on the viability of Elders at the moment. We know that it's all about the asset sales. Its uh, automotive business is on the block, as well as its rural services business. And it's all about the price achieved. So really, it looks like what's going to happen here is asset sales are going to occur, we're going to see debt paid off and uh, returns made to shareholders. So it's really on the pricing. Rural Co had its AGM yesterday and it was quite interesting to hear some of the comments because there's been a lot of speculation that Rural Co could be one of the acquirer of the assets, especially the Rural Services Division. And if we have a look at some of the comments coming through from Rural Co yesterday, they were talking about how it would benefit whether or not it participated in these asset sales. If it participated in these asset sales, it would see synergies from acquisitions come through and if it didn't participate it was saying that it would gain market share anyway so really rural co keeping its cards pretty close to its chest um, not really revealing whether or not it's going to be participating but it's going to be interesting to see whether we do see elder shares bouncing back today seeing that we did see that all-time record low of 12 and a half cents the market really quite concerned about its viability it's all about the asset sales here and how these asset sales go you're eyeing for the session today that's of importance? Lots of AGMs today, so we'll be watching stocks like Drill Search, Ainsworth, uh, Ainsworth, QR National, just to name a few. So we'll be watching some of those comments. With iron ore, there's also an article in the Fin Review talking about China lowering taxes for iron ore miners locally to help, um, to help those miners out. So that may have an impact as well in terms of iron... Um, our iron ore miners, if we do see more local production in China, that would be a negative for I our iron ore space. But altogether, commodities were trading lower. We did see oil prices down sharply on hopes of a ceasefire between uh, Israel and Hamas. And also, if we have a look at gold, quite interesting here seeing some of the numbers come out. Although we did see gold prices down by 0.4%, we did see reports around John Paulson as well as George Soros' positions in gold. And if we have a look at John Paulson, he has a massive bet in gold at the moment through the Spider uh, Gold ETF. And if we have a look at uh, George Soros, he's actually increased his gold position by 49% in the third quarter. So some interesting plays there. And if we have a look at gold over the last 10 years, this is a 10-year gold price. You can see that it's been in this massive uh, bull market. We have seen the rally really just consolidating at this stage and uh, just watching to see whether this bull run that's been uh, on for gold over the last 12 years can continue. But altogether, it looks like consolidation on the Aussie share market. We are expecting to see a relatively subdued session given that we are going to see Thanksgiving in the U.S. on Thursday.